Welcome, welcome, welcome to the latest edition of Minuteless, your Limitless by the Minute podcast. We are on Minute 21, and I am your host, Franklin. You can follow me at Bug TV Franklin, and I'm joined by, well, I guess I'm a bit of an Edward Mora, and I hope you're not Vern here, Big Unk. Well, I don't know that you're much of an Edward Mora at all, but that's all right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening again. You know where to find me because you already have. Hey, this was a scary minute. This was a sad minute. There was a lot going on in this minute, Franklin. This was maybe the most action-packed minute yet. You know, we're like two Edward Moras, I should say. Yeah. Before NZT. Yeah, we're two. (laughs) Hey, he was already pretty smart. He was. That's true. Yeah. Maybe we're being too kind. Maybe we're just yeah. two Verns. In this yeah, we're case. a couple of Verns. <laughs> we're, we're dead by the first fucking 20 minutes. Yeah, uh, well, he always warns you. He warned you. So this guy, so in this minute, um, he is giving, Vern is giving Edward Mora duties. He's saying, mm, listen, getting... you want the, p- yeah. Oh, no, go ahead. You were running it down. He basically, and if I miss anything, let me know. He's just like, yeah, do a few. Uh, how about you uh, do me a favor? I'm in uh, no condition to go out, like he said in the previous minute. Uh, go ahead and pick up my laundry and uh, get us something to eat. And Edward Moore is like, from now on, I'm going to be his errand boy and do whatever he wants, all for that little clear pill. And we're thinking this movie's going to take an approach where he's his servant. Yeah, right? you, you think, oh, it's going to be kind of a comedy thing, or, you know, mm-hmm. he's going to just keep getting wacky adventures. He's set on by Vern. <laughs> that's right, getting breakfast. Yeah. Uh, and not so much. Now, no. in Vern's apartment, there's a few uh, empty cans of Red Bull, sugar free. I don't know if you spotted them. I didn't notice that, but uh, why would you even take Red Bull when you got NZT? <laughs> Enhance it. He's mm-hmm. He said NZT. 48 is only good if you're smart already yeah i guess he wasn't very smart so he's just like i'm gonna need the red bull it's like if if we did it we would combine it with rain yeah or alpha brain now how about how about a cocktail alpha rain alpha rain oh oh, another million dollar idea big on giving it away for, well, not for free. It's on the Patreon. No, yeah. So, so we've made it to minute it. 21. What a what an accomplishment. Yeah. It makes you realize how long movies exactly are when you do a podcast like this. <laughs> you know, maybe not the most uh, foresight. Well, I haven't finished recapping the minute. That's so true. I know. He picks up his laundry. He picks up his uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, you know. Sure. And does. Yeah. He uh, and he goes up to his apartment only to find Vern sitting on the sofa. The TV's yeah, like not a lazy on. Lazy bum. <laughs> Turns out there's a bullet in his head, and Edward stumbles to, on the to the floor. <clears throat> yeah, he falls a real right blooper on his, on his butt like a real goof. Wow, this is action packed. We're seeing yeah. food being made. You know, we're seeing butts falling upon. We're th- yeah, we saw a guy fall on the floor. How often How often do you see that in your day-to-day? Not too yeah, often. Right? Not enough. Not That's, enough, right? I don't see people yeah. falling on their butts all the time. I wish I did, man. What a <laughs> dream that would be. And a guy with a bullet in his head, and his apartment was destroyed. Yeah. So, yeah, there, so somebody was looking for it. Some sculpture stuff that was all ripped to shreds. They just kind of moved his art a little bit. Yeah, it was bad. Like, oh, it's, it was... Not, it's not there. Let me nudge this painting. Okay, I guess it's not there. It was a bad scene, man. You can't deny that. No, it was a bad scene. Why didn't any neighbors hear it? The fucking door was yeah, left open, why, too. Why somebody... Maybe they didn't like Vern. <laughs> it was like, fuck that guy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Vern. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a prick yeah kind of cocky kind of smug you know yeah, but we're in a robe yeah we're in a robe well he can't wear a robe come on now his hair all combed backwards my, my thing is he sat down before edward left like what the fuck are you doing Vern? like uh you're just gonna wait for this guy you're not gonna pop put on the tv go on the internet yeah he is not even like he's just gonna he just yeah. sat there yeah what a nerd just sat there with his thoughts he doesn't have any friends on twitter to talk to (laughs) (laughs) yeah right 
<laughs> oh man, maybe Jack's yeah. taking NZT. I bet Jack is taking NZT. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. It, oh man, imagine that Jack being as smart as us off his off his NZT. Yeah, yeah, Jack's just an idiot when he's. <laughs> It's just like us. Oh, God. No, I can't think that. I can't no, believe that. I, I refuse to believe that. I, I ref- Yo, let's tell Michael Che, hey, found out a secret about Jack. Yeah, he's a big he NZT did- head. <laughs> big NZT head. <laughs> Sucks it down like Coca-Cola. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What an exciting minute, man. Yeah, I mean, a guy died, but that's also sad. So, you know, I, are you going to miss Vern? I, I will miss Vern. I, I, I have to admit, we didn't get to see him and Al Pacino's character interact. We haven't seen Al Pacino at all. Yeah, not yet. But <laughs> how, we, I, how much longer do we... I've got a little feeling that we might just see him. <laughs> I don't. Not for not for a while. <laughs> you don't think so, so? So let's see. Vern was played by an uh, actor named... Johnny Whitworth, for yeah, those that don't know. From so, J.D. Wentworth and Associates. Sure. He, let me see a little information about him. He studied acting. When he moved to Los Angeles from Dallas to pursue acting, he appeared in over 50 films. So let me see if, if he's in anything you know. Uh, you ever seen the TV series Blind Spot? No, uh, no, but I know it exists. Okay. How about the movie Bad Hurt? Never heard of that one, but it sounds good. Bad Hurt. Yeah. What a what a name, you know, yeah, like that's cool. Yeah, Bad Hurt. Fall Bad. Mm-hmm. Pain. Pain Bad. Pain Cry. Pain Cry. He was I'm sure have you seen this movie? I know you have. Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Yeah, I sure have. Oh shit, yeah, he was in that. He was the guy who could rot stuff by touching it. Holy shit, yep, Ray Kerrigan. He yeah. was Ray. Oh wow. A couple if you ever uh, I hope you have an Outlaw Country, he played Ajax. Mm-mm, haven't seen that one. Ray Kerrigan and Ghost Rider. So this is yeah, wow. Well, that's some shit, man. Yeah, oh. he's the guy who He's showing off his power, and he mm-hmm. touches a, uh, a like banana, and it rots, and then he touches a Twinkie, and nothing happens. Good yep. joke. Oh, that's a, that's pretty funny. That's legitimately yeah, funny. That's a good joke. Uh, he was in 310 to Yuma. Oh, yeah. That's boring, I bet. Never seen Yeah, it. Numbers, he played Dante Baker. Oh, Don Toretto. And The Handler, he plays Denver. <laughs> oh. Interesting. He's had he was in thing. Can't Hardly Wait. Really? He was gun bo- Gum Boy voice, uncredited. Who was Gum Boy in Can't Hardly Wait? I don't know, man. That's weird. Gum Boy, and it was just the voice of Gum Boy. And he didn't even get credited for it. The saddest yeah. part. God. Well, he gets credit for it now, but wait a second. Um, Is this... I think he's sitting next to uh, Mike Dexter at the diner and can't hardly wait. Oh, yeah. well, that's not bad. I think he's chewing gum. I think that's the whole, I think he's gum. Oh. I don't know. I don't it's know. Just it just might be wrong. Background guy. You also notice he's stuff in the credits and it's just like baseball hat guy. Mm-hmm. And it's just yeah, like right. Guy who but he was gum hat. boy and he was yeah. also in Party of Five. He was PK Strickler. That's cool. That's a good name. That's a yeah. fucking. That's like a. That'd be my WWF jobber name if, if I wrestle in 1994. And already in the ring, from Omaha, Nebraska, PK Strickler. Yeah. Yeah, me throwing the fist. I'm gonna beat you, Shawn Michaels. I got a good feeling about this. Yeah. Taking on Razor Ramon as the youngster, PK Strickler. Nah, nah, girl, I wouldn't give him that. It's like, this Cam and Edgar. This Ham and Egger, yeah, I saw him changing tires the other day in the Jiffy Lube. That'd be brain uh, the brain. Yeah, that's <laughs> rude. Will you stop? They were the best. They were the best. God bless them. Both in hey, heaven. Both in heaven. The number one commentators in heaven. With the first selection. I, the the, the, the I heaven was, draft. I choose Bobby the Brain. You know, 
<laughs> Man, that heaven draft that's some shit huh yeah i can't wait to go to heaven i don't man we're we must be fucking high picks man that sucks yeah i mean it's good I, to live yeah but, you know but they don't I, I, they, or they don't want us there why not Mm-hmm. i don't get it yeah right <laughs> david stern i don't want to see those fucking guys anywhere near me yeah like they're a disgrace <laughs> they're a disgrace <laughs> they're a fucking man yeah yeah fucking well, david that... stern hating on us yeah what a jerk hey that was a good minute of the movie we got 11 minutes we've got to get to give him 15 we've got to give uh, another four hey, minutes no, of i know i was just saying we're really uh okay in the scene like... It was a good minute, man. Is there anything else you know? I saw, I saw there was like a, a wine bottle and a wine glass all of a sudden on his like, you know, by his TV table. Oh, you think you think the mur- do you think he was murdered? First of all, <laughs> this is, you know, he was fine. <laughs> literally, literally <laughs> less than a minute ago. He was fine. Yeah. A minute later, he's dead. But you know what? You didn't see anything happen there, did you? That's true. So, yeah, because do the math. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you get pr- innocent until proven guilty, right? So that that is, man. How about a limitless series? It's just a trial of, Ver- of Vern's murder. <laughs> yeah, finding the parties responsible. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty. Because it could have been anybody. We it didn't could've... see it happen. We don't even know, man. We don't even know what the fuck happened just now. A murder took place while this guy went to get fucking... He's lucky he wasn't there. He's damn lucky he wasn't there. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, again, uh, there was a lot of trash there, but but there's also things that, like, he had, like, a bunch of coffee mugs, cups, like... This is very bad. I don't know what the term is for. Is that the director or the screen planner or some shit? But they somebody was just like, up that scene. Yeah. No, some, but they're just like, oh, there, somebody came in searching for the pills. Oh, put a bunch of cups out for some reason. You know what? I think they should have cleaned it up because, I mean, this is a movie. This is your best chance to put your best foot forward. Uh, well, I don't want to say a dirty, messed up house. That's just lazy. No, but they're the why people... why am I supposed to pay to see a movie if they can't even be bothered to clean up the set? It's, it's, yeah. I don't think they were partying in the apartment. <laughs> Just like, hey, leave it. Yeah. Oh, we'll <laughs> we'll like make that. it fit into the story. Well, I just, you know, they could have tidied up for the guests. Because in a lot of ways, when you make a movie, you're the host and the audience is the guest. So you said Han Solo did a bad job by keeping the Millennium Falcon dirty as hell. Mm-hmm. Very it's rude. Very rude of that man to let us into his home. That's an absolute pigsty. Well, I if I had known his house was a pigsty, maybe I would have said, no thanks, I don't want to go on this rollicking intergalactic adventure with you. Mm, I don't do Star Wars, my brother. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> God, about right. I hope I can stop at some point. I really do. I, I, don't. I, I, I <laughs> Yeah, at some point, do you think uh, Vern offered anybody NZT? And they said, I don't do NZT, my brother. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't do that. Alpha brain, my man. Yeah. You got any alpha mm-hmm. brain? That's, that's more my speed. Uh, okay. Speaking of alpha brain, Steve Austin mentioned on uh, his podcast like yeah i started taking off a brain once i heard joe rogan endorse it i felt like that was a you know like yeah. he was talking about like that's oh, a voice you can trust that's a that voice you can trust that means you can assume that uh steve austin is also voting for bernie sanders <laughs> sure, sure. Well, he may have been convinced yeah he if that's may a have voice been you convinced. can trust that's a yeah. voice you can trust hey if you can buy stretchy jeans from the guy and and these placebo pills and Lord knows what else, uh, fucking it. gambling apps. Yeah, that's just well, good money. Yeah, he's man, he's putting money back in your pocket. That's right, back he's where get, it belongs. Back where he's cut out the middle, man. You're getting these stretchy jeans. You're joining the Dollar Shave Club. Uh, I mean, wow, damn, Dollar Shave Club should come up with a Bullet Club shirt. They abs. Oh man, they really should. That would okay. be cool. 
All right, you ready to wrap this up? I see you I, typing. Oh, yeah, I wasn't typing anything. I was just saying I love you. But, uh, yeah, I'm ready to wrap this up, I suppose, my brother. Thanks, everybody, for listening to our beautiful voices. Minute 21, folks. Forever 21. Yeah. Forever 21. I want to I be. I want to be. <laughs> Forever 21. Yeah, the end. Good night.